Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 33 Tarot and we're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on with you today Aquarius, all right? Now this is for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising in the North Node, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777 and I do offer same day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. All right, Aquarius, so I'm going to shuffle all the cards out first, and I'll tell you what I see. And then we'll close out the reading with um, an oracle message, okay? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Aquarius. Um, geez, this is like too clear and too like pinpointy, if that makes sense. Like, just try not to take it personal what I say here, okay? Because I don't really care. Like, I don't judge you. Like, you're a person. I don't know who you are. You know what I mean? But it's just, it's going to sound like, I don't know, not good or whatever. Um, It's because, here's the thing. A lot of... It, one storyline I see is a lot of you or some of you, someone here, you know, of an, of an Aquarius is in a marriage or relationship. They can't stand who they're with. They're in love with someone else. Okay, so some of you are in love with someone else or just want to be single and free or you already messed up, you know what I mean, and cheated. And then you're like, fuck, 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 oh shit. Just, just, just stay committed and be quiet. Stay committed and be quiet. And then you stay focused on your job and then all of a sudden you realize it's done so either you're secretly planning for a divorce or you're just being severely deceptive towards who you're with in a marriage or relationship but at the same time i see an aquarius that's going through something like that and then choosing to want to be deceptive towards people in other marriages and relationships outside of you so i don't know what happened there it's kind of like your marriage and relationship is shit but then there's someone else or something else you rather go towards or to but then you see other, maybe friends or family or other marriages and couples out there in life. And then you just want to kind of like sabotage yourself, maybe them and everything and just be really deceptive. At the end of this reading, you basically bounded yourself and trapped yourself. And now you're scared of shit. I don't know what happened there. So 
let's just see here. So you start out very equal and giving and things are very fair there in a sense. Okay. Equal give and change. Uh, get, get, what? Equal, equal give and change. Maybe you have to change that. I don't know. Um, give and take an equal exchange. And then this is where you're kind of bored though. You're like, yeah, this is not it for me. I'm nah. So then really it's because, you know, you have romantic emotions towards someone for some of you and there that brings, they bring up a lot of depression, a lot of pain for you. Unfortunately, for others of you, it's more so you want something fun. You want someone fun or you're having fun. There's something you just kind of feel so great doing something feels good. And then it goes back to depression, right? Or boredom and sadness. Um, but right after that, it's this moment of new love. It's a new journey. It's a new chapter. So either a lot of you are, you know, just going through being single or no, you need to be, or there's someone else, right? Or a new beginning that you really just are experiencing or want so bad. Regardless, that's where you have a lot of fast, quick passion and you're moving quick and it, it's great. After that, so freaking burdened, like, uh-uh. So then you choose to just do a few things here stay silent and just commit to whomever, whatever, or what your path is right now, spiritual or religious, or you end up, you know, you know, deep down everything I'm telling you, which is why you leave this reading kind of, you know, spooked, or you end up going to someone of guidance to get information to figure out what you got to do, right? And so whatever you're going through, good and bad, you're meant to be going through this, okay? There's a lot of changes happening to the point where even, to the point where even you know, you're, you're having to research and study and figure out what it is that you need to do, which you are. You're being productive. You're putting in the hard work. You're waiting. You're planning. You're waiting for answers. You're waiting for something. And I mean, you're maybe relaying messages and saying things too, right? Like you're motivated. You're inspired. That felt good for a moment. And then you're hanging on and building to what, you know, from what you got. And then boom, right there is where you're really, you're defensive. You get a little aggressive and defensive, but you're standing your ground. Makes sense. You're planning. You're focused towards a person or just your own journey in life. And that's where you feel very confident and passionate to like consider and figure what you got to do, like options, investments and everything. This is where a lot of you are like, okay, contract or legal matters or divorce or whatever. Um, and this is where, you know, whatever it is, or just balancing some things out. That's where it's surrounding your marriage or relationship or your commitment that you have personally with yourself or if you're with someone, maybe family for some of you here, or there's something about a completely different marriage outside of you that you're kind of pulling in. Whatever it is, you still have love, friendliness, kindness, nurture towards whoever this is or whatever's going on in the situation. And then you go cold. It's like you see someone and then you're cold or like, you know what I mean? You have emotions and then it's just gone. That's when you choose to kind of be a bit deceptive or keep things hidden with yourself. And that's where you leave it. Like I said, I don't know. Worried, scared, stuck, restricted, bound, trapped. Either or here, Aquarius. Unfortunately, let's see what your closing out message is. Okay. Yeah. Give your inner critique a vacation day. Be kind to yourself. And that's exactly what I'm getting from this. It's like towards the end here, for some reason, basically, you kind of make yourself feel like shit for no reason. You have your reasons as to why you feel like this and what's going on in the pain, but you're 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 adding on to it by making yourself feel worse by comparing yourself to others around you or whatever's going on here or allowing someone to make you feel like crap. So then you give yourself that crap talk, right? So just try to be kinder to yourself, all right, in this situation, okay? You could be dealing with um, a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, Gemini Libra Aquarius. All right, thank you, bye.